Hey, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take you through some quick, basic keyword research. And honestly, the basics are really all you need. Um, oh, say hi to my puppy. Well, she's not a puppy anymore. This is Anna, our um, yellow lab. She's now almost 11. Anyway, uh, that's not what you're here for. So, okay. The basics, again, really all you need. There are people who uh, would disagree with me on that. They, they like their tools, and that's cool. And I know that there have been people who've had a lot of success with Market Samurai, as well as SE Cockpit. Um, they're paid search engine stuff, not search engine, I'm sorry, keyword research tools. And it can be really helpful. Uh, however, if you're a newer marketer or you just don't care to spend the money, then right here is, is all you need. And, and it's easy enough. So let's get in there into AdWords. Toolbox. Loading. All right. I'm already signed in because I have a Google account. If you don't have a Google account, that's fine. What would pop up instead is a chance like just like this, and then you would um, enter CAPTCHA so that Google knows you're a real human being looking for stuff. Anyway, since I am logged in, here we go. Okay. So funny story. I did a video the other day, and actually looked this up. That's what my video was about. <laughs> the sneak attack at the beer belly. Anyway, so I, I did the research. I'm going to go down here and search. I have my filters in place. It's United States, English. I don't even ever worry about this. I'm not even sure what that means, honestly. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and check this out. So what this is saying is that there's low competition, which means there are not a lot of people out there buying ad space for this keyword. And it says that we've got roughly 60,000 searches a month. Um, but here's here's the good thing to know, and a lot of newbies don't know yet, is that's the broad, which means it's going to grab everything. So when you see lose beer belly, it's grabbing beer belly. So you're going to want to be more specific and grab instead of the broad, which means everything. It could be uh, mom's beer belly, and it just grabs beer belly. Or it could say, beer in the belly is yummy. And it's just going to grab beer belly. So you're not going to get the exact keyword that you need in order to maximize your efforts with any of your content marketing that you're doing. Whether it's a video, article, you know what I mean. Alright. So here, that's, this is a different story. Under our exact phrase, the exact words that people type in, it's still low on the competition. Awesome. And then you've got you know, just shy of 10,000. These are approximate numbers. They're not absolutely exact. It just gets you close and helps you understand what you're looking at. But there's a big difference between 40,000 right here for the exact phrase than what we just saw a minute ago. So either way, these are still good keywords. And they, low competition, it's, all, it's got all the right numbers. So, there we go. Let's look at something else. Let's go for like a very broad term. I know a lot of new marketers will hit up things like uh, network marketing or network marketing <laughs> secrets. Alright, let's check that out. Search. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is this is oversaturated and not kind of worth it because then really you're only getting 390 people that are looking for that. However, one of the good things, especially if you're newer, is to come down here and, and look. At when, oh, well, let me back up. When you're signed in, when you have a, a Google account and you're signed in, you can have more of these. So MLM Marketing Secrets. Okay, low competition. Awesome. But there's 320 roughly searches. Now, if you're going to do several videos or do like a video series for MLM marketing secrets, then 320 isn't bad um, at all. It just means that you're going to have to put a little more out there so that roughly that many people can see your content. Let's see, what else we have hiding in here? 
You know, and the more you do this, especially if you're new, the more creative you're going to become with your titles. Ooh. All right, so obviously, network marketing opportunities not so great. High competition, a lot of people are after that keyword. And the searches aren't bad, but there are better ways to spin it. You know, depending on, you just have to be kind of creative and play with it. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you're still new, reach out to teams or, or your leaders, um, other people who are where you're at, and, and network with each other and see what you've learned and compare notes and all that good stuff. But honestly, this, this is easy stuff. And it doesn't really take that long. Let's see. Parts. My son would be very happy with that. And that's just to be silly. Sorry if I'm offending anyone. Although, ha, <laughs> that'd be kind of fun. If you're going to do, I don't know, something for kids. You wanted to tell fart stories or how to behave when one accidentally sneaks out. If that's what you're going to do for a video or for content, you know, for either kids or for parents, you know, how do you teach kids to kind of control the wind, if you will, then this would be a good keyword. <laughs> Although, you know, most of us probably aren't going to do that. I'm honestly just being goofy. Anyway, y'all, that's that. Like I said, basics are really all you need. Keep it simple. Keep it moving. Alrighty, y'all. I'm out. Take care. Bye.